Hi again, it's Raj. Since Adam and I started taking a software-defined data center approach, we've gotten a lot of attention around here. Virtualizing the network has completely changed the way we operate. The executive staff is impressed, and the word's getting out. Yesterday, the guy who runs our security team, Jesse, had lunch with Adam, and they tossed around a few ideas. He had a few questions of his own and popped by my office. He said that even though we have a strong data center perimeter defense, it's not infallible. He still has nightmares about threats that do make it through. Those threats sneak through the perimeter defense riding on legitimate user access. And once inside, there are few controls to keep them from moving laterally from server to server. Basically, he doesn't want to be the guy that has to explain the how and why to the shareholders when we get compromised. Jesse has always imagined applying micro-segmentation inside the perimeter, but has never seen a way to realistically operationalize, keeping up with all the firewall changes, with VMs being created, moved, and deleted all the time. He wanted to know if our software-defined data center could make a zero-trust security approach possible. So I told him to take a seat. Check this out. It's not like how you traditionally manage firewalls. This is different. It's very automated and baked into the software-defined data center. Here, for example, we can provision a web tier workload or a database tier workload with PCI data, and the appropriate controls are enforced. If the VM moves, its policies move with it. And if we delete the VM, its policy is deleted. And if we identify a vulnerability, the attributes of the VM are dynamically updated and quarantine controls are enforced. I can see his wheels are spinning. He says, that all sounds great, but the volume of east-west traffic is massive. How can this be done in software? What's the gag? I tell him that from a performance standpoint, it's a whole new ballgame. The firewalling is baked into the NSX platform. It operates in the kernel of every hypervisor. You get 20 gigabits per second of throughput per host, my friend. And that's only applied to the VMs running on that hypervisor alone. We have over 100 hypervisors. You do the math. So Jesse's like, okay, I get it. Virtual networks are isolated by default. And what you're talking about here is basic stateful firewalling for multi-tier app environments, right? But what about this? What if we want to apply more advanced next generation firewalling capabilities for some critical application types? I remind him that NSX is a platform, not a competing firewall product. Look, Palo Alto Networks and a bunch of other partners have already integrated with NSX to take advantage of its distributed enforcement and automated provisioning. I think that's when things clicked. Jesse's face lit up. Really? Where have you been all my life? Wow, I just, I mean, you just saved us a pile of money in firewalls alone. So how fast can we get this deployed? I tell him, hey, it's software. How about this afternoon?